Hi everyone, now I'm going to start doing some little videos on YouTube stroke Facebook about the prep that I do and obviously the quickest ways to get your elastics right, your rigs right, everything like that. Now this is the first little video, I'm not sure how often I'm going to be able to do them but I'm going to try and pass as much info for you people out there to save yourself a bit of time and obviously get all the prep dead right and the elastics is obviously mega mega important especially when you're fishing with silverfish now i'm doing my superior top kits uh, i've been doing lots of silverfish fishing lately and in the process of silverfish fishing i've also been look, uh, looking lots of carp now on the little elastics we use for silverfish fishing it takes its toll it's amazing i think we all know it's amazing how strong these elastics are now in there, I'm changing my elastics from seven Jura to six slip. Everybody knows how good that stuff is. I've ranted on about that stuff for probably over 20 years, and it is the absolute gonads when it comes to elastics for silverfish fishing, in my mind. I know everybody's got their own choice, but it lasts ages, it's cheap, and you get five meters as well, so you can do two top kits. Now, I'm gonna show you the easiest and quickest way and the most important part is getting your elastics right. Now, that's the blue elastic that's coming through my top kit now. The easiest way is to just tie that on. So I've got the six slip. Just do a simple figure of eight. Tighten that up, right. Now, I've already got my new connector on the end. Always do that first. I've already done one top kit. Took me like five minutes. So I've got my little plastic connector on the end, which I love for that style sort of silverfish fishing. So that's all tied up ready. So I can now pull the old elastic and the new elastic through the top kit. And you'll see that in a minute. Once the knot goes through, that'll all bounce through. Make sure it don't tangle. There we go. I'm up in the tree. Let's get out of there. That's the problem with doing this in the garden. You want to be doing it in your lounge really or in your garage. Anyway, that's through now. Now, one thing that's really important is these top kits are bone dry. I've put them on the radiator, I've dried them right out. Obviously, sometimes I haven't got the time to bring them in the house or dry them out because obviously the weather's been so bad. What you must do when you're actually renewing elastic in soaking wet sections is that will stick inside. So give yourself, because that's basically, I've done one top kit, I've still got probably two and a half foot of new elastic, the, the yellow as you can see there. Give yourself plenty of elastic. Don't get cutting it off too short first. So I'm gonna take that off, get the old connector. Let me take him off the end. Obviously I will chuck all this stuff in the bin. I'm just chucking it on the floor at the moment because I will get towed off. Now I'm gonna put that elastic connector there now obviously this because i've actually got dry sections like i said i could actually do this easy now the next thing i would do is i would actually stretch this elastic out right that's what i would do now i'm not going to do it now because i haven't got the amount of people here to do it with me but if you wanted to you don't have to you could stretch that out bottom it out let it settle for two or three minutes and then do your tensions but the most important part is let it slack like that. So if this section was sopping wet, give yourself a bit of sort of free elastic, if you like. All right, and then just tie that. I'm just gonna do a simple loop. I'm not bothered about that because it's not gonna be finished yet. Tie that connector on, just basically stops the elastic going back into the pole, which can be an absolute pain. Next stage, Get yourself some lube. That Jura Slip lube, it's been out for ages. I use it all the time, and this is when it comes into its own. I just give it like four spurts down each section. I know one section's got a internal bush in there. I've just got to sort of try and push that in like that. All right, let that work, man. So this is really important when you've got wet sections and then put it together. Now that I've got a little tub of water up there, you need to suck some water up inside so everything is basically as smooth as what you can get it. And with a side puller, just put your finger over it 
you have got to do a bit of suck some water out like that. It's not the most hygienic part. There you are, see it come out the end. So that's now through both sections. So you can see that coming out. And this is when I would do my, you can feel that now, it's so smooth. Just break the loop off and then let that come in like that. Now that's stopped there. All right, now that's not enough tension. That would literally be completely slack. And I'm just gonna come down about two inches. And then first off, do a great big loop. So let me do that again, because this is the important part. Make sure it's sopping wet on the inside, unless you've got bone dry sections. So if you just bought the pole, you wouldn't have to do that. So that's basically in, and that's where it's stopping. So I'm gonna come down a couple of min uh, couple of inches, grab it, and do a big loop then, or a big knot. Probably have to go around like five or six times to create that big knot, which will stop it. It depends what connector you're using, really. Everybody's got their own preferred connector. A great big knot like that. Let's just cut that tag end off a minute. And then, you can see that now, that's working absolutely beautiful. Have to excuse the plane. And you see that now, that is absolutely perfect. It's taken me minutes to do it, obviously I do it quite a lot, but this is the sort of little videos I'm gonna get over to you. So, absolutely bang on. Like I said, really, really important, you lube it up, and then suck some water into the section. Make sure it's absolutely sobbing wet on the inside because that's what you're doing when you're fishing. When you're fishing, you always see all the anglers, like every time they ship out, they do that, which makes everything work as smooth as possible. The lube helps massively, but it also needs that water as well. So that's it. I've done literally two, two top kits in less than 10 minutes.